Hello my friends and welcome back to Cyberpunk. In our last video we did end the day having just begun the main quest Double Life where I need to head inside and talk to Judy. I did just pop upstairs to see what was what was up here and I mean it's kind of a nice little rooftop setup. Kind of. I mean there's a table so it's kind of nice but anyway let's go Talk to Judy. Oh, Judy's apartment. Okay, that makes sense. Let's poke around. Because why not? <laughs> 75 Years of Cyberware by Sutsomi Takahashi. I have so many, so many shards I need to be reading. I'm so behind. Rewiring synaptic pathways. Oh my god, let's let's grab all the shards just in case. Thornton owner's manual. Why be me? Confessions of a brain dance addict. And then the green death, which I have already read. Ah, here she is. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. No, oh, no. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. What? How's she holding up? How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. Yeah. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. Mm -hmm. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. Oh, th thank you. I need to talk to her? Oh, God. Oh, let's ask it, but I really don't want to ask it. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know, too. But it's just not going to happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Yeah, why are you mad at her? You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. Either. It's okay. So I don't get why- You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Oh. You watched them already? Guessing you saw them already. Yeah, I had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. Okay. How many BDs are there? How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Okay, let's see it. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. Johnny. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Yeah, be a, I mean, be a little bit sensitive to what she just went through. Cyberware usage and its side effects. Pain editors and mortality rates. Okay, oh, Evelyn. How you feeling? Hey. How you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. I... I don't want to touch her. I, I don't... I don't want to bother her. She is severely traumatized. I... I can't. I'm sorry, Johnny. I can't. Perilous future? We'll meet with Judy. I'm assuming she's in here. Yeah. Have a seat. Okay. Sit and let's get started. All right. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. 
Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Okay. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the Virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be... Parfait, Boris. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual... relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself? Uh, should I... Bioship? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. Hmm. Oh, restart. What am I looking at? Take a look around if you want. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine-chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Vive symbolism typically associated with voodoo, a church run by the voodoo boys. Okay, that's my conclusion. Can't see her face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. Yeah. That, or someone's working it for her. So no further data available, personal data hidden via ID scrambler requiring high net running skills. So if my net running skills was better, would I be able to decipher it more? Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. <laughs> I've, I've already been there. Ads for various establishments, Night City Pacifica. Conclusion, a church likely located in Pacifica. Okay, I guess I can exit. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? Yeah, it sounds like the voodoo boys hired Evelyn to scroll the... Penthouse. Woman who hired her? Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now I know why they tried to fly to liner. Oh yeah, good point. Now we know what happened at Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Yeah. Launched a nuke at her ship. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? Probably. She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. She should have gone to a ripper dog and had it, the chip taken out of her head. Dang. Evelyn wasn't completely honest. Shocking. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into. Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. Mm -hmm. So that's where you came in. She hired you. Yep. And brought this all on herself. On you two. Kind of. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Yeah, I thought you said it wasn't legible or something. Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oh, it's the lady from the last one. 
You're a Nobu. Huh. Who be one leader? Très bien. Si vous décidez si spon critique ça me pense, à continuer fait travail ou. What language is she speaking? Dunno. Haitian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. Yeah. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Okay. Restart. Tab. Um, switch layers. Try scanning the phone. Got it. Give it a second. Heard something about Yorinobu, yeah. Heard her mention Yorinobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Caught another name. Something like Silverhand? Really? Have to know what we they're saying? We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto-translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Uploading language pack. <laughs> All right, rewind. The doll has left. Yes, you were right. She's too smart for her own good. Will she bring us trouble? She wouldn't dare. <laughs> she would dare. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't. You're not. Sorry. Subtitles are not popping up. What's going on? Besides, she's our best route to Yorinobu. We must take this risk. I wish I shared your confidence that Silverhand will lead us to alt. Okay. You have a better idea. Good, then if you're done questioning my judgment, you can get back to work. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. Mm -hmm. He did. V, you got any idea? Yeah. His construct's on the biochip. Biochip we stole? It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. In my head with Johnny, you're saying, right? He looks very uh, agitated. Do you know how to find these people? Know who they are, who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Okay. I mean, eventually we'll get there, right? Bushido and neo postmodernism. Sorry, Judy, I'm taking like all your stuff. Wait. You got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why are you even interested? Why? Worried that I'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... 
Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. Mm -hmm. You got a plan? No, absolutely not. But I will just a ask around, right? I'll just start shouting. <laughs> I'll ask around. Make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The voodoo boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's got to know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, Judy, for all the help. Oh, and I leveled. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. I... I... I doubt that, to be honest. I doubt we're that lucky. Oh, now there's more things to look and scan. Techie thingy notes? I forgot to change the notifications in the pressure gauge, add an automatic reset when starting it up. Tracking module froze underwater again. Probably the waterproof case is blocking the signal. Fix, make an opening for an antenna. Connection loss with the barometer when set at bathymetric mode. Fix, add an automatic signal to switch back to last position for connection loss. Model not found, assembly in progress. Knows her robots? Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Old tech museum interesting? No. Interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. <laughs> Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? Way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Oh. Is Judy crushing on V and V crushing on Judy? Oh, that's cute. Various electronic parts broken 10 to 40 years. A variety of dated electronic parts likely collected to be repurposed somehow. Oh, there's more things in here now. Well, well, Bushido complete BD collection. Oh, well, well. The Bushido collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. Collector's edition Bushido 1 through 9 deluxe limited edition collection of the Bushido movie series. Oh, okay. Can I check her? Can I check her emails? Think she'll mind. Files shopping list. High index contact lenses, buoys with sensors, neural signal augmenter, idea pain circuit breaker for dolls. Once the max pain threshold is reached, the session automatically shuts down. Oh, client receives a fine. Well, that, that, there you go. Okay, help from Evelyn Parker to Judy. Hey, it's been like a thousand years since we saw each other. What's up with you, girl? You still cooped up in Susie's basement, still with M Mako? My Mako. Hoping at least one of those things isn't true anymore. So I've got a tiny favor to ask. Okay, it's more like a humongous favor. Super important to me, but should be a breeze for a geek like you. Holler back at me. Mine straight up telling me what's going on. This got anything to do with your previous messages? And yes, one of those things isn't true anymore. I need you to scroll a virtue for me. That's it, I promise. In exchange, I'll make sure you don't have to do anything for the rest of your life but art. Let's just meet, okay? Where can I find you these days? Susie's basement. <laughs> N1's channel N54 to Judy, working with us. Hi, we're the biggest TV broadcast channel in NC. Some of your BDs recently fell into our lap and we're really impressed. Really? We'd like to offer you the chance to work in a young, dynamic team of artists like yourself with flexible working conditions and the chance to create an eye-popping portfolio. Let us know what you think. Best wishes, Nicole Watts. I say really because, like, they're pornos, right? Hi, Judy. Did you receive my last message? We'd really like you to consider our offer. I assumed no was answer enough. Hi, Judy. Of course, I understand. Let us know if you change your mind. Need your advice from Roxanne Sumner. 
Hey, I had a really weird stitch with a client. I met him at the bar when I was offline. He said he had been coming to me exclusively for a few months and that he wanted to get to know me. We talked a lot. He's a corpo. He said his job isn't that different to mine because he also has to put on act all day. I feel like it's still really different. Like he has to play golf with his boss who he hates or whatever. Yes, because golf and having sex with someone are totally the same thing, right? He seemed kind of nice. Now he wants to meet up outside of clouds. What do I do? Take him to Lizzie so we can keep an eye on you just in case and keep a stunner on you. Work with us, Judy, from Rajiv Roy Singh Had Studios. She is get, trying to... Everybody wants Judy. <laughs> Hi, we're one of the biggest movie production studios in the world. We'd like to offer you the chance to work in a young, dynamic team. I, that seems to be the punch words these days. Young, dynamic team of flexible working conditions and the chance to create an eye-popping portfolio. I literally word for word from what the last lady just said. Stop messaging me. <laughs> All right, actor... From Judy to Evelyn. Hey, Ev, I'm looking for a BD actor client. Wants uh, as little chrome as possible. Age doesn't matter. Know anyone who'd be up for it. Eddies aren't spectacular, but they're not terrible either. She said she'd ask. That's it. Two words. Everything all right? I don't know, Judy. Everything's been nagging at me lately. Starting to think I wasn't made for this. Sleazy clients, porn, piss poor conditions. Shitty Eddies. Wasn't meant to turn out like this. We deserve more, don't we? And then I fucked up. From Evelyn to Judy. Hey, dude, sorry about earlier today. I was pissed at Susie and you took the flack for it. I know you know how hard you work, but you played the wrong hand. I know. Talk to her again. Once you're both chilled, I'm sure it'll be fine. I doubt it. Compensation. From Judy to Sydney Roberts. I'd like to explore my options about an unlawful juvenile detention when I was 16 years old. I'm pretty sure I'm owed some kind of compensation. I'm looking for a lawyer who can take on this case for 10% of the awarded sum. Can you please provide more details? How are you so sure the sentence was unlawful? I was convicted for stealing a fire truck and for the illegal use of property belonging to the fire department. Except I didn't steal that truck. I found it in a scrapyard and fixed it up. It took me half a year, but when I was done, it looked better than the factory knew. They busted me on my first ride. Nobody believed that I didn't steal it. Winning compensation from the city council is extremely difficult and, in my opinion, not worth the trouble. So you don't believe me either. Thanks for nothing. Oh, Judy. They might have just been being honest. Okay, well, let's leave the apartment. Bye. Bye, Judy. Can't... There's things to talk about in there and I can't go in. Ugh, that's annoying. All right, out we go. Double life is completed. Maaptan Palen. Probably totally saying that wrong. I mean, sorry, sorry. I mean, I did take French, but clearly, clearly, it's been many, many a year. Call Mr. Hands. Okay, this must be the one. Yeah, where I go to Pacifica. Phantom Liberty wants me to call, do that as well. But I, I don't want to do that right now. I want to go to my apartment. And I, then I want to come work on some side, side stuff. That's Watson. Maybe I'll come down here and do Westbrook. Watson has just got so much stuff in it. All right. Almost done with intelligence. Let's see. Let's get this Q acceleration going. So plus one max RAM. The overclock is awesome. Oh. Hello? Hey, V. The NCPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time. Oh. But it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced or... Anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated. I mean, I saw it right near here, but it's it's nowhere near here. Cyber Psycho Sighting Demons of War. Usually when a corpo gets his walking papers, he loses all his implants too. They dig those synth organs and cyber eyes right out of his body. But sometimes the chrome's so far and grown, it can't be removed safely, even if someone really wants it. Well, I may as well do it since we're so close. 
If he zeroed the badges, then there's no way in hell Max Tack is going to bring him in alive. We're the best chance he's got at getting out of this in one piece. Hey, wait! Oh. Why are you getting upset at me, lady? So I gotta go all the way... Well, it's right up there. We'll just turn on some Radio Vexstrom. Vexstrom. Yes. Well, listen to this and... Go... Hello? V, a vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Okay. Fine. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. There are so many things going on. <laughs> can I like shortcut my way up there? Do you think? Do you think I can do that? <gasps> oh my God, double oh, jump. Shit. Holy crap. I'm in combat. Save. I can't save while I'm in combat. Matt Liao. Okay, we'll do synapse burnout and then cyberware malfunction. Weapons glitch, cyber worm malfunction. Go home. I I can't go home, sir. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I'm gonna kill him. He's only got three percent health left. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, Skippy, where are you, Skippy? Um, did you just swear at him, Skippy? No. Better look around. Okay, he's alive. Huh. I was like, no! All right, saved. There was yellow up here. Physical health unresponsive. No pulse, high caliber bullet wound in the back. It's an NCPD robot. A B cop. High caliber bullet, wound in the back. Ammo. Thank you. I thought I saw yellow. That could have just been him. Human. What? I. What? I am pleased to inform you that your vehicle has been repaired after suffering an unfortunate accident. It can be found in your garage ready for use. I wish you a good day and thousands of collision free miles. I, there are so many things happening. <laughs> it's awesome, but I'm still in the very overwhelmed stage. And I feel like at this point in games, I'm not as overwhelmed, but I feel like after act one, the game just restarted basically. High caliber bullet. America after the war. The turbulent years of 2024 to 2045. At the end of the fourth corporate war, in order to establish relative order under the federal government, President Elizabeth Kress imposed martial law on NUS member states and nationalized the domestic arms manufacturing giant Militech. Preoccupied with their own internal issues, most of Europe and Japan paid little attention to developments in North America. Back in the 1990s, corporations had already begun aggressively purchasing huge swaths of arable land from farmers. 
Those who were left with no choice but to sell eventually found each other and organized into larger groups or clans to improve their odds of survival. Looking for reliable work opportunities meant staying on the move and often specializing transport contracts. Yet once the war settled down, their convoys became the single reliable safe method of interstate shipping. In other words, this time of crisis and adaptation played a major role in the emergence of the so-called nomad social class. Meanwhile, in the 2040s, Netwatch created an immense firewall dubbed the Black Wall to partition a safe part of the net for human use and curb the threat of rogue artificial intelligences in cyberspace. At the organization's discretion, humanity was forced to sacrifice its access to inestimably <laughs> valuable resources and knowledge for the sake of net security. Okay. All right, the guy is here. Old edge runner. Oh, okay. That didn't help. Got another one. What is this? Water, Chrome, and Blood, the Fourth Corporate War. It is truly remarkable that the large-scale bloodshed of the Fourth Corporate War began first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploitation corporations, Sino and Otec. Both companies vied for the controlling stake of the failing IHA Corporation. OTEC commissioned Militech to secure its business interests and perform certain special operation. Sino in turn signed a cooperation agreement with the Arasaka Corporation with a similar aim. When circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in open combat, the fourth corporate war had officially begun. Yet as is usually the case with corporate conflicts, the onset proved subtle. Arasaka disables a military transport, Militech allegedly eliminates a high-ranking official of an Arasaka client. Both sides engage in frequent sabotage and data theft operations. Netrunners from both sides infiltrate data forts to sow confusion, gather intel, and cause chaos in the stock markets. Though none would have thought it possible in those early months, the Arasaka Militech conflict truly jeopardized the stability of the world economy, making the threat of complete economic collapse all too real. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. This did little to slow the conflict's pace, however. While Sino and Otec had unilaterally reached a settlement through peace talks, tensions between Arasaka and Militech continued to rise. This separation from the ocean dispute marks the beginning of the fourth corporate war's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Military clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notoriously bloody, brutal, and without mercy. They waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. Arasaka and Militech netrunners launched attacks with the help of viruses that were often highly experimental. What's more, they created lethal ice measures and AI-like programs that could lurk in dark corners of the net for long periods to launch strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of 2022, Arasaka and Militech entered the final phase of the conflict where both sides used every resource and strategy at their disposal. The hot war had begun. Around this time, the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist, and mercenaries hired by both corporations were slaughtered in open warfare by cutting-edge weapons technology. Then, in the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the Coupe de Grasse came when an unknown group of mercenaries detonated a nuclear device at Arasaka's Night City headquarters. That would be Johnny and his, his people. Shortly after the blast, bowing under increased pressure from the Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew from many of its strategic positions, but most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech, but it came at a heavy cost. Don't know how much of this has to do with the cyber psycho quest, but it's fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's open his laptop. Rush order urgent from Matt to Dan. Dan, I need that stuff for my head. I really, really, really need it. I'm out starting to think some desperate shit on a loop. I know I owe you, but fuck man, I need it. And I need it today, you know? Whatever you want in exchange, man, I'll do anything, okay? I gotta kill, steal, whatever, please. Important message for closure from the Bank of Night City to Matt. 
I regret to inform you that due to your repeated defaults on your payments, we are now forced to foreclose on the property for which the loan was taken out. Please vacate the premise within three working days of receipt of this message. Otherwise, we will introduce eviction measures as part of the clear to kill system. This decision is final and irreversible. Sincerely, Liam Turetsky. Hmm. PTSD shield policy lapsed. Due to the termination of your employment at Mercenary Solutions, Inc., your health insurance policy PTSD shield has been canceled effective immediately. Any appointments made prior to this notice have been canceled. Any medications have been discarded. We also inform you that you are welcome to use the government's veteran care program. Current appointment wait time is 756 days to register for an appointment. Please send the following text message. Help. Wishing you good health and the best of luck, Anne McEwen. So I'm guessing this guy was a veteran. Oh, hello? Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. Might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife? Uh-oh, forgot to close my tab. Or has a buzz about you lately? As the Merc who's reliable gets things done. And since I need help... Okay. Need a driver for street races. Oh, dear. Drop by my auto shop. I'll tell you more. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Your garage. Where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot. You can't miss it. Mm -mm. All right. Try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay. See you, Claire. Oh, that, that sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. So this guy, like I was trying to say, seems to be a veteran, I'm guessing, of the Fourth Corporate Wars, and all of his stuff was canceled because reasons, and... <sighs> Our psycho's out cold but alive, transferring you the data I gathered. Looks like he was an ex-merc working for some corp. Soon as he stopped being useful, they tossed him out on the street. Guy kept his combat implants, had PTSD, stopped taking his meds. You can fill in the blanks. Thanks for going the extra mile. So badge friend of mine just sent over his data. Guy's head was a mess. Must have taken four times doses just to make it through the day. Eventually the corp cut off his health insurance. The cash dried up and then the ticking time bomb exploded. But was it really from the implants alone? Who the hell knows? Either way, your eddies are in the air. Thanks for taking care of this. You're welcome. I, I'm, I'm not going to go to the afterlife. I don't want to do that right now. Right now, I want to try to get back down to where I was. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is such a poor life choice. Because I want to use the fast travel point down here. Oh my god, I didn't die. To go to my apartment. That's what I wanted to do after my last main quest. But all these people are calling me because V is just so awesome. And yeah, all the things. But anyway, let's get to my apartment and check out my armory wall. Okay. Let's let's go do this. I'm hoping I I have like two or three katanas, I think. It may just be two. But I'm hoping some of those fill in some of these some of these blanks. Where is where's the thing? There. Um I'm gonna put up I can't get rid of this one. There's an X. Is this part of a quest? All right, let's get rid of Kongu and Lizzie. Yeah, confirm. It's fine. I'm going to use my one that's I can be silenced with. And then these three. I got one filled in. Um, really, is that it? That's... I'm not going to lie. That's really disappointing. I feel like I should have more filled out, but... Oh, well. Well, let me take a look at my map. Because tomorrow we're going to do some quality side questing. I think we'll come over here to... What is it? Is it Westbrook? That's Westbrook. It's these three sections. There's a crap ton of NCPD quests to work on, but there's only eight gigs to work on. And I'm going to stop here. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new cyberpunk video.